Hi, my name is Ken Lau. Now suppose that you have this task. Say that you have on the C drive the error logs, right? You need to open this file here and you need to uh, copy this worksheet and you need to paste it to the a main file. So you, you basically want to do this and you want to uh, paste it copy this worksheet to uh, another one file. So if you have such tools, right, it such needs, you can actually do this. Uh, using VBA, you can create a button, click on it, and then choose the location you want, and then locate the file, select it, and click OK. So you can see that the, the, the dialog box name is please select a machine log file. So click open and that's it. It is now copied to the new worksheet, right? So the way to do this is to just insert a button and then here right click on this and go for assignment. Uh, we we'll just look at the code. The code is relatively simple, right? It's just that you need to declare two object variables. Uh, one is source, the other destination. I usually I call that the file that have the button is called destination, and I want to read from a source. The source is the log file. So right, come back here. Now before I open the file dialog box, I want to set my active workbook as the destination file. So later I can come back. So next is that I open the file dialog box by calling application dot file dialog and uh, i want to set the outdoor multi select to uh, to uh, as a comment the title as you can see earlier is the please select a machine log file uh, the previous builder is clear and you add uh, you only want to show the excel file and the excel workbook with the file extension xlxx and finally we have uh, we want the dot show and assign it to a response a response is just a variable then we check the response if it's not equal to negative one then uh, then it is you choose cancel and then we exit the sub if it's not we will continue open the selected workbook okay by using the dot selected item because we only choose one file so the first file the index is one and you have read only setting set it to a workbook source object reference with that we can open the workbook and look at iterate the each worksheet using the for each loop and then you copy it after the the, the last the total number of uh, worksheets this is the, what it means right and finally close that uh, log file and select back to the first worksheet this is why this one so yeah that's it this is the this is the code for running the file dialog box uh, yeah so click on it very handy go to 9 select it and that's it this is the 9 and this is the ten second okay so this Bye.